Hi, in this class we are going to learn how to solve a heat equation by using a, a very simple a finite difference scheme. So just to remind you, the heat equation in one dimension looks like partial f with respect to t equals sorry partial t with respect to t equals some k times d square t dx squared plus g of x comma t this is called the heat supply this is some constant is equal to here uh, conductivity divided by heat capacity per unit length of course because we are all doing it in one dimension and so the basic problem is the following I have a beam of length L it's slowly giving off heat maybe The temperature at this side is known, T0 is known, let us call it F of T and Tn, Tl is equal to G of T, both of them are given. Okay, And they can be constants or variables or whatever. Our first step, discretize the spatial variable. What I mean by that is put dots like that so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there are 10 dots and I am going to write d squared t dx squared at any point at ith point equals by by finite difference it will be t i plus 1 plus t i minus 1 minus 2 t i divided by uh, delta x square that's what it looks like so it's a fairly simple straightforward deal so what happens is i will rewrite rewrite heat equation as partial T i with respect to T equals T i plus 1 plus T i minus 1 minus 2 T i over delta x square. That's it. So this is i equal to 1 to n minus 1. Okay. You will get n minus 1 differential equations. So if there are 10, that means i equal to 1 to 9. So you will get out of out of the total number of points, which is 0 to 10, that is 11 points, you will get 9 differential equations. How come you don't get 11? Because T0 is known, T1 is known. Uh, by the way, I forgot. So then uh, I, should, I should be a little bit careful. So I will be a little bit careful. So I forgot the heating term, so I am going to add that also, plus g of x comma x i comma t i. This is the heating. Hey, that's it. So k times that. That's it. I mean, there's nothing much to it. So you got n. So you got nine differential. Uh, sorry, n minus one differential equations. that have to be solved so you can do range kuta something like that or backward euler or anything that you like so you can pick your 
you know so our idea is very simple convert a pde into ode and then use a the ode solver that's all there's nothing more to it okay so we converted this is a pde can you see partial differential equation it has partial derivatives and that becomes a set of odes so one pde will generate lots of odes and which are coupled so then you do a runge kuda solver if you do a, in many cases actually especially for the heat equation it is in you know you can easily do even just a forward euler it will work ti n plus 1 minus ti n over delta t equals k times ti plus 1 n plus ti minus 1 n minus 2 ti n plus g of xi comma ti n so this is the nth time step this is the n plus 1th time step that's all there's nothing to it you can solve explicitly for ti plus 1 ti n plus 1 equal to ti n plus k delta t over delta x squared T n i plus one plus T n i minus one minus two T i n plus delta T times G of x i T i n. What more do you want? Yeah, just go there, pick a particular value for delta T, the time step, and off you go. It will work, provided this thing is less than one. It's sorry, it's less than one fourth or something like that. It has to be sufficiently small, and then it will work perfectly fine. If you take big time steps, things will go crazy, and it will not work. Okay, so this is as far as doing a one-dimensional heat 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 equation goes. If you have heat transfer boundary conditions, then you have to be a little bit more careful. What do I mean? At the very end, T zero and T n. suppose i am given that only dt not dx is 7 dtn dx is 6 this is a different issue because what this says is if i use um, if i uh, if i use central difference this says t1 minus t minus 1 over delta x equal to 7 t n plus 1 minus t n minus 1 sorry or two delta x so what you have to do is you have to use these two and now you will get n equations for n unknowns and you just have to substitute it into our here and you will see that at the end you have to solve it and that's the end of it it's a very simple thing okay and if you practice it a little bit you will see how uh, how simple heat equations